Orlando Magic HQ was popping. So if you go back to the 2017 NBA draft, the Philadelphia 76ers selected a guard out of the University of Washington, Markel Fultz with the number one overall pick. And Markel Fultz was taken over some of his other contemporaries in that draft class with guys like Lonzo Ball, Jason Tatum, De'Aaron Fox, Larry Markinen, Donovan Mitchell, and the list goes on. Markel Fultz has had a very up and down start to his career. It's been extremely sporadic. He's dealt with a lot of adversity, a lot of criticism. He's dealt with an immense amount of injuries. But this past season proved to not only the Magic community, but the NBA community as a whole, that we have seen the arrival of Markel Fultz. Right now, it appears to be the biggest bust in NBA history. I hate to be the one to, to say this, but you know, um, he's been a bust for, for them. So if you go back to when Markel Fultz was 19 years old, drafted number one overall by the Philadelphia 76ers, his time in Philadelphia was not very favorable, not only by the Philadelphia fans and the media, but also the NBA community as a whole. Coming in as the number one overall pick with an immense amount of expectations, considering you had a big three potentially in play with Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons, Markel Fultz did not reach those expectations. This Philadelphia 76ers never met those heights and Markel Fultz's injuries and his mental confidence is what ultimately set him back. Now, the most glaring and obvious factor that held Markel Fultz back with his time in Philadelphia from ever taking that next step and that next level jump was his jump shot and his shoulder injury. Now, it was very evident through a multitude of games that he had a lack of confidence, something going on mentally in his head, and also his jump shot was completely sporadic. His jump shot did not look fluid. His form at the free throw line was not very good either. There was a little hesitancy in his free throw shots. It was something he was consistently ridiculed by, by the Philadelphia and the NBA community as a whole. And you could see it was attacking his mental confidence. Even though Markel Fultz had some moments of shine in his short time in Philadelphia when he was one of the youngest players in NBA history to ever record a triple-double, Markel Fultz ultimately did not succeed in Philly because the Philadelphia 76ers were not in the business of letting a 19, 20 year old guard try to develop and get back his confidence and get back from his injuries. They were trying to build a championship caliber team, but ultimately what's held back Markel Fultz from ever reaching his true career potential, and especially in Philadelphia, has been with his injuries. And let's take a look back at just how deep and serious his injury history has been with his short time in the NBA. If you go back to December of 2018, Markel Fultz was diagnosed with thoracic outlet syndrome, TOC, which can even be missed in a lot of MRIs, which was ultimately the biggest reason as to why people were figuring out why he could not shoot. And that was the biggest reason as to why that was in his shoulder having this syndrome. Markel Fultz continued to struggle to find any kind of footing and rhythm in Philadelphia as the fan base had essentially given up on him. And in February of 2019 at the trade deadline, the Orlando Magic sent a heavily protected first round pick in Jonathan Simmons to the Philadelphia 76ers to acquire Markel Fultz. And after Markel Fultz was dealt at the deadline of the Orlando Magic, he finished off the season strong, helped leading the Orlando Magic to the postseason that year in the bubble. And Markel finished the season off averaging 12, five and three. You fast forward to December of 2020 when the new season began for the 2021 season. Markel Fultz appeared in only just eight games before going down with an ACL injury back in January 6 of 2021 versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. And Markel Fultz went down and would miss nearly 14 months worth of basketball while trying to recover back from his injury. After missing about 14 months of basketball, Markel Fultz returned for the last 18 games of the 2022 NBA season. And then prior to the 2022-2023 season starting for the Orlando Magic, Markel Fultz had another injury setback in the preseason. He had a toe fracture which kept him sidelined, missing the first 21 games of the Magic season. The Magic were five and 16 in that time before he made his season debut versus the Atlanta Hawks on November 30th. And the Orlando Magic were five and 20 to begin the year primarily because of injuries and Markel Fultz being sidelined. For the last 60 games of the season in which Fultz started all 60 games in the 2023 campaign, he had his best season yet. Markel Fultz averaged in 60 games 14, five and four on 51, 31, 78 splits and still chipped in a steal and a half on easily his most efficient season as an NBA starter. And as I stated earlier, Markel Fultz had career highs across the board, easily his best season output by far to date. And he had efficient numbers all across the board. Let's actually take a look at how Markel Fultz has really transformed his game, gained the confidence and also has significantly improved on his shooting at just 24 years of age. This past season, Markel Fultz on pull-up jumpers on two pointers 
shot 47.5% from the field on 162 of those attempts. And on eight pull-up three-point attempts this season, he shot 50% from behind the arc. And then when you look at Markel Fultz's shooting numbers all across the board, from inside the paint to the mid-range to the three-point shot, Markel Fultz has clearly improved all across the board, and you can see his efficiency on the rise. Let's actually talk about how great these stats have been for him this past season. Now, I'm gonna go down the list here, shooting less than five feet at the rim. Markel shooting 63.1% from five to nine feet. In the paint, he's shooting 49.5%. From 10 to 14 feet and 15 to 19 feet, so in the mid-range, he's shooting 41.8 and 45.8%. From 20 to 24 feet and 25 to 29 feet in the three-point shot, he's shooting 41.2% and 26.2% from downtown. And then when you really combine these numbers and you look at them as a whole, Markel Fultz is shooting 62.8% in the restricted arc, 50.3% in the paint, and 42.6% in the mid-range. When you watch Markel Fultz and his game, how fluid he is, the way he's able to contort his body, and the way he's able to finish at the rim with the Europe, with the finger roll, with the reverse off the glass, the way Markel Fultz is able to get himself into a position he's never rattled, he knows how to use his body, use the step back, use the turnaround fadeaway. Markel Fultz is a magician with the ball, and that's exactly what we saw from him coming out of the University of Washington. We saw glimpses of it in Philadelphia and his ability to really penetrate the defense, get the bigs to come in and to really take it to the rim and finish strong. Markel Fultz has shown that. He's shown the athletic ability to get up and dunk the ball in training transition off the alley-oop. Markel Fultz, you've seen the athleticism, you've seen the growth, and you've seen how much work he's put into his jumper. It looks a lot more fluid. He's shooting it all through his legs, and he's really getting a nice high arc on the ball. What Markel Fultz has been able to do to help turn his young career around, and being with a team like Orlando that was in a smaller market, a team that did not have championship aspirations, and he could really develop and get to build with this young core and this coaching staff, that is how Markel Fultz has really been able to take this next step and this next ascension in his game. And that leads me into the young core that the Magic have and why Markel Fultz has flourished so much. When you look at the Orlando Magic this past season after finishing with a record of 34 and 38, Markel Fultz missing the first 21 games of the season and the Magic starting off 5 and 20. You could have essentially penciled in the Magic to tank for the rest of the season, Jamal Mosley and the rest of this young core to go ahead and just tank, let Paolo Bancaro, Franz Wagner, Markel Fultz, Jalen Suggs, Cole Anthony, Wendell Carter Jr., and the entire young core of this Magic team. Let these guys continue to develop, and let's just go and tank for the draft lottery odds. But Jamal Mosley, Markel Fultz, and the rest of this team was reluctant to do that. They were able to fight for a play-in spot for essentially the entire season before they were mathematically eliminated in the last week of the season. And Markel Fultz, him being the primary ball handler, him being the scorer that he is and is capable of being on a night in and night out basis and the way he's able to put others in a position to succeed and help create open looks for other teammates. What Markel Fultz does for this Magic team is unreplaceable and you've seen the ascension, you've seen the growth and you've seen the confidence in him. Just listen to Markel Fultz and how confident he sounds in this interview. Just shooting a shot that I wanna shoot and shooting pull up threes and uh, I don't think I had, I mean, obviously I could have took pull up threes anytime I wanted, but I definitely felt like I was more effective getting to the rim in my mid-range game. So uh, again, I was just doing what was best, but I definitely wanted to showcase and show that, you know, I'm capable of doing that. And that's something that I worked on all summer. So I feel very confident doing, but. And while Markel Fultz did post career highs across the board and had his best campaign so far in 60 games this past season with the Orlando Magic, the best game of his young career came this past season at LA when they were playing the Clippers. Orlando would come away with a huge road win in that game and Markel Fultz was sensational in that game versus the LA Clippers. Markel Fultz posted a career high 28 points on 10 of 17 shooting, one of two from three point range. He chipped in four steals, one block, and he absolutely wheeled this team to victory on the road. He had 12 of his 28 points in the fourth quarter, which all came in the final 436 of that ball game. Markel Fultz, even though Kawhi Leonard did not play in that game, that is a very good Clippers team. Ty Lue being one of the best coaches in basketball, and Markel Fultz put this team on his back. And you saw the growth and the confidence significantly improve for Markel Fultz, not only in this game, but really from this past season and what he was able to put together. And Markel Fultz having the ability to develop with this young core, develop with the training staff and the Magic coaches over these last couple of seasons. Now that you're gonna see Paolo Bancaro, who's going to be Rookie of the Year. Franz Wagner is gonna be a possible all 
all-star next season alongside Markel Fultz, who probably will be an MIP candidate next season. And then you look at the Magic and all of their young talent, not only with their draft pick that they have this season, but also the Chicago Bulls first round pick this year as well too. And you look at other guys on the roster too, with Jonathan Isaac coming back off of injury, Tumo Okeke possibly still being on the roster, Cole Anthony, Jalen Suggs, and two first round picks alongside Wendell Carter Jr. and the rest of this roster. Markel Fultz has had an ascension in his career, and we've now seen the arrival of Markel Fultz. So Magic and NBA fans, we wanna hear your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. What do you guys make of Markel Fultz having a resurgence and a resurrection in his career with his short time in Orlando? And what do you expect from Markel Fultz and the Orlando Magic going into next season? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure that you guys drop us a thumbs up. It takes one second and it helps me the channel out tremendously. And if you guys are new here, consider hitting that subscribe bell to stay tuned for more Magic content that I do here on YouTube. And make sure that you go follow me and Orlando Magic HQ on all of our socials. The link trees will be in the description down below so that you guys can go ahead and check that out. But thanks again for sticking around throughout the whole video. Brett James, AKA BJ, I'm out y'all. Go Magic, baby. Peace.